here with Scott Porter, vaunted actor and now video game actor. You're one of the many voices in Batman, Arkham Knight. Tell me, what was that like creating this character? I mean, it was awesome. I, I'm a huge fan of Nightwing in the first place. To even be asked to play him or embody him in a game was incredible. But my first moments in the booth, Kevin Conroy's voice is in my headset. They'd already recorded some of his lines. And the initial line is just like, Nightwing, I need information on this thing. And I was like, ah, completely spaced. <laughs> Brain just froze. It glitched. I glitched a little yeah. bit because I, I'd just been listening to him ever since I was a kid watching yeah. the animated series and then all of the games. And such a huge fan of the Rocksteady games that they put out already with Asylum and City. And oh, it's been an amazing ride. Where is he? Obviously, Rocksteady doing a great job with Batman right now. It's definitely got the train on the tracks moving forward. Uh, uh, is this something you want to do more of in the future? Do you feel like night, there's got to be more Nightwing going forward? I, I don't know if there's going to be more Nightwing going yeah. forward. I've done a couple of voices for Warner Brothers games in the DC universe. I voiced Superboy for them and Aquaman for them in different projects and now Nightwing. So I would love to do more of that. I would love if it transitioned anywhere. If I was able to play Dick Grayson a little bit further, that would be awesome. You're a genuine gamer without a doubt. Yeah, no, I've, I've been a gamer for years. My Xbox gamer score is over 100K. Wow. So, I mean, you know, I'm a dedicated gamer. I've been playing since I was a kid, and it's just, this is, this is my event of the year. This is my favorite con of the year. Yeah. So how does this compare to straight up acting, like the stuff you did on Friday Night Lights? Man, you know every project's different, just like it is on screen, just like it is on stage. Every single game is different. I voice a pretty big character for a Telltale game, and they're very conversational. You rewrite your lines on the fly, and there's multiple choices of how a player can play. And then there's a game like Arkham, where you, you trust the studio that's making it. You trust how they've cared for these characters and, and curated this world for Batman. And you, you just go and you say your lines, and you can hear legends in your, in your headphones.